all right so on this episode i'll be doing a dna genetic test um yeah exciting so i'll be doing it with my heritage dna i'll be doing a health and ancestry test can y'all see it all right, time to open it up. Bam, bam. <laughs> okay, a little box here. Biohazard envelope. Um, oh, activation code. I need to activate it online. The instructions. Okay. For best results, no eating, drinking, chewing, or gum before 30 minutes. Um, 30 minutes before collecting sample. Um, gives the instruction on how to swab your cheeks. You gotta swab your cheeks for 45 seconds. And then, you know, how to package it and then how to return it. All right. These are the swabs and the vials. So I haven't eaten, um, I want to say for 45 minutes. So I'm good with the time. Um, remove you know it's funny they said i shouldn't eat drink or smoke and right now i really want to drink some water like i'm really thirsty right now <laughs> all right so remove one swab from its wrapper and use the swab head to scrape the inside of your cheeks for 45 seconds okay All right. <laughs> All right. Swab the insides of your cheeks for 45 seconds. Um, didn't say which side. Just one of them are. Uh, uh, uh. All right, next step. Open one vial and insert the swab head down. Once it touches the bottom, break the swab stick against the inner edge of the back line, black line, leaving only the swab head in the vial. All right, y'all see the black line? Insert the swab head down, head down, ass up. Um, once it reaches the bottom, break. Oh, that's easy. And okay, that's it. I gotta do it for the other one, but that's it. All right. Got my two DNAs up in here. Put it in the Ziploc bag. Make sure it well tight. Don't want no leakage. Um, put it against the cotton so I guess if it leaks get absorbed into the cotton. Seal the Ziploc bag. Set out the air. Then put it in the box. Place the plastic bag with the vial 
inside the return box seal the top of the return box using a adhesive strip oh that's it take the strip off right here and that's it wow all right so in four to six weeks i'll get my results online they'll email me the results and we'll see what i am made of I am very excited. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, so guess what? I got back my DNA test results. Um, the results are pretty interesting. Um, I guess you can figure from my getup that I am obviously African. I mean, not even my getup, just my complexion. You know, say, the motherland where me come from. Anyways, <laughs> all right. My results. I am 89.4 African. Yes, yes, you are African. 77.2 um, West African. And then it gives you like country breakdown so I am 56.5 Nigerian oh <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I had to do the oh you know I'm from Nigeria huh makes sense it's coming around deep it's in the blood um <laughs> I'm not a scammer though I don't scam. Mm -mm, not me. Um, 11.3% Sierra Leone. Um, in terms of East African, I am 4.5 Kenyan, 2.8 Maasai, um, 2.9 North African, 2% Central African, and I am 5.9 Scandinavian, 2.7 English, 1.2 Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. You know, I the slave master blood that, and it wasn't given within me. Yeah. Um, and I'm also one, sorry, 0.8 West Asia, West Asian. Huh. I feel like the Asian part come from the indentured laborers that came to replace the slave workers when slavery was abolished in Jamaica. Hmm. Um, I was hoping that the results would have tell me which like African tribe I'm from. I mean, Nigerians, Nigeria has so many different tribes. I'd like to know if I am Yoruba, Hausa, or Igbo. Um, I, those are like the three main tribes in Nigeria. Um, there are a lot more, so I'm, I figure that I'm probably one of the top three. Who knows? Thing is, I don't know, and I wish the the report was able to tell me that. Um, there is a company called, well, a website called African Ancestry that does tell you your like your African ethnicity and also the tribe that you belong to and they do either by your father's DNA like your father's side or your mother's side but each side costs almost $300 that's a big rip off to me that's a lot of money so if you wanted to know both sides it's basically $600 you're gonna have to pay um, yeah I'm not doing that um, I did the results with my heritage DNA and I got it 
they had a sale so I think I only paid eight to nine dollars which included shipping I believe I want to know like which side each ethnicity comes from like I know for a fact that the Nigerian part of me is from my dad's side but my mom's side I don't know the Maasai part probably from my mom's side I don't know who knows um I know like my mom's like yellowish looking but she light skin like high yellow maybe the Scandinavian part come from her I don't know um, yeah you know what I think this Christmas I'm gonna give both my parents a DNA test because I really want to know like it's just fun to know like which ethnicity you are and why you have certain features because I know if I go to Nigeria or Ghana I will look like somebody and they will be able to look at me and tell me that oh you're from this tribe I want I want to know which tribe I'm from yeah <laughs> Tonika Toniko oh all right I'm gonna stop <laughs> That's my results. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later on a different video. Bye. <laughs>